What's going on guys? Back with another Diablo Immortal video. So today, as you know, the new update just dropped. And as the update said, we will be getting a modified loot table. Something that I wish they would have done a lot earlier. Let's you choose 8 gems that have a 150% chance drop rate once one drops. So... They're kind of guaranteeing you're going to get one of these eight. Um, recently, I had a lot of new people come in, a lot of returners, and ask me what are the best gems in the game or what do I think are the best gems in the game. And as you can see, I have them posted up right there uh, because you can choose all of them. Now... This is the best for almost any class. I mean, it is subjective. You can always change out Gloom for, you know, a Storm Vault if you like it. If you're being more tanky, Frozen Heart. If you deal with a lot of CC, Total Loss of Control Chip could be good. If you want to apply a Burn, a DOT build, of course, Hellfire will be good. Howlers is good for a bro burst damage. Zwinsons, let's just leave Zwinsons alone. Uh, <laughs> frozen Heart's a really good defensive gem, but if it came down to running Frozen or Spiteful, I would run Spiteful because it gives you a flat damage reduction as well as a total damage elimination of a primary. So this, um, I had someone <laughs> make a funny comment on one of my lives and say, what if they give us this drop table and then they make the drop rates atrocious? Like, what if they just really screw them up? So, I went ahead and bought a few bundles because it's horrible right now selling on the market. Um, for $50 less, I got almost as much. Um, you know, so let's see, I can still buy some Eternals here. I can buy my, ooh, buy that one. And then I can buy this one. And then I bought the bundle you get um, actually with like defeating. I think this was for deleting um, Inferno 2 boss, I believe. Come on, give me 18. Okay, so with those three bundles, it was 150 With the $200 pack, you get 94 And with this, we get 82 I believe, or 80 because I had some extra. Alright, so I'm not maxed on my embers, so we're going to find a party and see how good these drop rates actually are. Um, if it takes longer than five seconds, I'm just, screw it. We'll just go in. Took way too long. I am uh, impatient when it comes to that, and it's only a few embers here and there when it comes down to it. My mouse feels so weird today. And, of course, I rushed in. I didn't look at the modifiers. Nothing super special. It's just the lowered cooldown. If you want to know what build I'm running, this is actually my dungeon build. But I still, as you can see, it's super fast. And why does it feel like this? It feels like it's, like, it's not smooth anymore. might just be me it's a pretty hot day outside today so let's talk about the rest of the update the tournament is out um it's not res restricted there are uh no rules on nothing it's just a 4v4 but what really excites me is it is cross server in the finals and that's gonna really make people choose their teams because i mean we're gonna be able to go into the top clan is going to be able to go to the other servers and fight them. So let's see what this is. Okay, so first one's a white chest. Let's see what drops out of it. A gloom. Okay. Well, two star gloom. I take that. Let's look at the rest of the gems. So one out of one so far. I'll take it. Now, is that a purple crest or an orange crest? Let's see. That was an orange crest. Sweet. Uh, 
That's going to go into my wings, add resonance, blah, 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 blah. You can also craft them. Just go into it. So one out of one so far. Nothing super important. Ultimate overflow. Kill some people back there. Okay, so apparently they buffed the pets to pick up stuff faster. Uh, so far it looks like they are. Because I'm not seeing a lot of stuff drop to the ground. Looks like they might have made them a little faster too, maybe. Okay. Let's see here. Or yellow. Got something to open my mouse. It's mouse pad, maybe. Maybe dirty. Real time problems require real time solutions. Again, I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. The sun was a shining today until I got downpour on, of course. <laughs> All right, so we're going to see. I wish they would keep this forever. But, you know, that would make some gems obsolete completely, which I don't think that's a bad thing. Two for two. But Jim's not gemming right. It needs to be redone. Echoing shade. Two echoing shades. Oh, wow. Three star echoing. And two star echoing. So far, yeah. Two echoes. Two for two. Two for two. The fisherman event looks pretty cool. The rewards are actually pretty nice. Very surprised on the rewards. Shadow of the Frozen Throne. Uh, I don't want it. Ice Crown Pathway. Oh, that's cool. This. All the legendaries. And they're not like really hard to get. I like this. It's not bad for fishing. Go back into this. So two for two so far. That's double drop on one of them. So three out of two. I mean, Blizzard needs a win. I think one thing they can do to actually make some of the people happy, whales and free to play, is a refund button on uh, Ivan Fods. I wish I wish they would let you refund it, even if it does cost platinum, uh, since platinum is a farmable material in the game. Um, pretty much you can just get your keys back from it, you know, or the, uh, amount of, I forget what they're called, the materials needed to upgrade them. I think that would be a big, uh, a big win for Immortal if they did that. It's just one of the little things they can do. All right, what we get? Third one is orange or brown, some people call it. So we got here. So not all one stars. They give me one two star, which I think they should change that to. When you're running ten crests, every ten crests should be like a guaranteed two star. You shouldn't get any. Rifts where you get one star. That would be nice. I mean, because, you know, if you're not spending money, this takes forever to get, you know, a, a, a decent amount, which you can get, I think, 10 a week or close to it now. Do events and things like that. And that's another thing I wish they would do. They would kind of show you, hey, if you do this event, you know, you don't have to go to it. Kind of gives you a guideline. All the veterans know to do that. To look and see if any of the events, what they drop. But, like I said, I'm going from a new player base. Because, to be honest, let's all be honest. We need new people in the game. Uh, we need to bring some kind of, some kind of rewarding factor for doing things. I think it would be nice.
right, can we, can we go? Can we do it? Title this video, can I pull five, five out of five stars? Dot, dot, dot. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to name it that. Or will I? All right. Let's see what we got. Fourth one. So we are 50% drop rate right now. A little bit like 55 because one was a double drop. Okay. So we got three two stars. I'll take that. Now, I haven't been seeing my stuff drop to the ground. I haven't seen them picked up. So I'm hoping I'm hoping they fix the drop rate of runes in the abyssal to make it what it was meant to be. You know what I mean? Hit and run. Look at that. Kill a monster gives you movement speed, I believe. Yeah, I remember uh, the first day of Verge had a guy running them like crazy. He was just getting all kinds of new loot. It was good. He was a newer player. He needed the loot, you know, and uh, then kind of everyone started taking advantage of it. And I think it really screwed up the event. They were like, oh, this is way too overtuned. Need to dial it back. I wish they didn't because I felt like I was playing Diablo 3. <laughs> just seeing all the legendaries come out of it and the runes too the runes were dropping really nice in there okay so we're behind each chest now so now we are right at 50 percent one two star Come on, give me some star fires. Give me some star fires. Give me a five out of five something. That'd be sweet. The video. I mean, I don't have one of those yet, you know. Just kidding. Um, so let's see the rest of the updates. Uh, this is my first time being on today, so I really can't comment on how bgs are with the tempest nerf and the wizard uh buff and nerf uh really i guess you could say it's a nerf because i play bgs and the only thing i see is that headpiece the little scorch which i enjoy i'm glad to get wizard something it's annoying but it's not like it doesn't make them unbeatable you know what i mean it just makes them have a little more fun in bgs okay so here we go Let's so put us above 50% now. A roiling consequence. Okay, so one gem. Ooh, three star. Let's go. How, how did that run look? Roiling and that. So I really need to click off roiling because I don't need it. I was just... Had it to, to sell it. But that's just gem power now. Okay. Oh, those echo wings were sellable. So, let's click off this roiling because I don't have no use for it. I can go with a storm ball. Okay. So, I'm working on that too. I like that you're not locked into the gems. You actually have a chance to actually get something else. Like, like I said, I just now realized I don't need a Roiling. I'm down to nothing but Orange Crest. So now I'm going to change from a Roiling to um, a Stormbolt because I'm running it in my wings. The greedy wings. Also, an essence thing. I was watching Echo Gaming earlier, and he kind of went over to the essence thing already. So, pretty much, you can click on what skill you want to use, and it'll show you what items 
buff that skill. It's pretty cool. We'll take a look at it here. Two two stars. Yeah. So can we can we make it out at a hundred percent drop rate? I mean we would have to get like two trips shot. Like two triple drops. So fifty percent drop rate is it's pretty good. So if you go into rift and one out of every two times you're gonna get a five star gem. That's 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 pretty good. I'm not gonna say it's better than other gacha games, but it's it's debatable. There's nothing's guaranteed in these games. Oh lord, that's what energy glow, man. There's like fifty of them on the ground. Think you might outdid yourself there, bud. Come on, give me the boss. Go. That wasn't a very good combo. They gave me skill cooldown and energy globes. You really don't need energy globes if you got almost 100% uptime on your skills. So orange, so that's probably going to be 50% drop rate. What we got here. And then we'll see how much res this actually give us. Oh, look, all one star. So it is not true. I was thinking maybe they'll change it to where you get a guaranteed at least two star every run. Which is a, would be another cool thing. Kind of bring the value of Crest up some more. Be like, hey, you know, at least I'll get a two star for running 10 Crest. I mean, think about the spinning that you know could possibly be done that way. If you're guaranteed four gem power at least every 10 Crest. Could guarantee two star. I think it'd be pretty cool. There's so much I could do with Elder Riz with like, you know, buffing the gear drop rate. You know, they can do the dungeons. I'm not saying it's a long time. Make it so you could change the dungeons to like a certain difficulty, so you can make them harder. Things will have more CR, take you longer to run, but then you're also get a chance to drop a like exceptional 100 percent chance to drop an exceptional item i think that would be really cool i mean think about that think about how much play time people be playing in how much time people be on this game i'm not saying like a perfect perfect exceptional but at least you know you're guaranteed exceptional it could still be a two socket you know that could be a three socket and then you know you're still hunting it but at least you're yeah, you got that chance. You know it's going to be exceptional. But it's super hard. Howler's Call. I mean, so I did not choose Howler's. So there's still a really good chance that, I mean, something else could drop. But out of all those rifts that I did get, the five stars, that's the only one where that dropped. So I would say that's pretty good. I think that was my last one. So let's see what we got here. We got, out of eight runs, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, six gems. Yeah. So, yeah. Six out of eight. I mean, that's, that's pretty good. I'm not going to complain. I like it. Um. So, yeah, that's, that's nice. Well, one thing they do need to do as well, you know, hopefully they do do it, is raise the the cap of platinum you can get today. This 300 needs to be 6. That needs to be 6. I think that would help everyone out too. But not break the, break the market, you know, that they already did. Well, as you can see, the drop rates are not all fixed. It's good they did that. So, out of those 8 drops... Only got one that wasn't the one that I picked, and I will take that in a heartbeat. So, um, like I said, the top six, the top eight gems that I would choose 
Of course, instead of Storm Vault, which it is, you know, kind of iffy. But I think the top for any class, and this one could be like meh. You know, it could be changed to, you know, another defensive, another offensive, which I explained. But that's what I would run. And then depending on what you got in your wings, as you know, I don't know if a lot of people have seen this. But when you have your wings, you now have four spots in here on each one. So you have an additional uh, 16 gems, 4, 8, 12, 16. So, yeah. So... I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or anything like that, uh, comment. Uh, please subscribe if you want, if you enjoy the content. And if you want to come over and actually ask me live. I'm going to be live. I'm live every day as long as the hotel internet can support it. Because when I'm home, I'm live no matter what. Because the internet's great. So until next time, appreciate you guys. Later.